Okay guys, this is our level three core workout. It's quite full on and we're getting straight into the abdominals here. So I hope you've done a little warm up or stretch to get started so we don't have any injuries. We're placing the heels about sit bone width apart and we're rolling down onto our backs to start. So we're gonna have the fingers interlocked behind the head, thumbs running down the back of the neck and we're going into our chest lift. So we're in a neutral spine here, small gap under the lower back. And we're going to keep the pelvis stable as we do our chest lift. So we're exhaling and we're curling up. Now keeping the pelvis flat, you're only going to be able to get so far and then inhaling back down. Exhale to curl up. So we're avoiding any tilting of the pelvis and then rolling back down. So it's an exhale as we come up and you're just coming up to about the tips of the shoulder blades lifting and then rolling back down. We're articulating through the spine and imagine you've got a peach under your chin and you're trying to hold it there so we're not opening through the throat and then curling back down. So we're going to exhale as we lift and then inhale to lower. We're going to do two more like this. This is our little chest lift prep and then rolling back down, keeping that pelvis stable. Exhale up. And then inhale to lower. Now we're going to go into our full chest lift. So we're exhaling up. Inhaling to reach the arms to the thighs. Exhale to pull yourself a little higher. Inhale, hold the height of the body. The hands come behind the back of the head. And then exhale, rolling back down. So we exhale up. Inhale to reach. Exhale to scoop, belly and lift. Inhale, hands behind the back of the head. And exhale to lower. Make sure you're using those transverse abdominals. We're scooping through the belly, trying not to allow the rectus abdominals to bulge up here. Exhale up. Inhale, hands come behind the back of the head and lowering back down. We've got two to go. Exhale as you roll up. Inhale to reach. Exhale, lift that little height without tilting the pelvis. Hands come behind the back of the head and rolling back down. We've just got one more to go. Exhaling up. Inhale to reach. Exhale, lift that little higher. Inhale, hold the height of the body as the hands come behind and then rolling back down. Have a nice little breather into the tummy there. Okay, so we're going to go into a hundred. So we've got a couple of variations here. I'm going to start with the legs bent and then I'm going to the legs straight. You're of course welcome to either keep the legs bent or have the legs straight the whole time. The lower your legs go, the harder your abs are going to work. So we're rolling up through the head, neck and shoulders, reaching the fingertips long, the legs in the tabletop. And it starts with an inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale into the back of the ribs. Exhale, scoop the belly, come higher. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Use your breath in. Exhale, higher. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Extend the legs if you wish. In. Exhale. Remember, the lower your legs are, the harder you're going to work. Exhale. In. Out. In. And out. Bend the knees, wrap the arms around, and then lowering back down. Just a little wriggle side to side. I hope those abdominals are awake. You should be nice and warm now. And we're going to let the legs reach out long and the arms overhead. We're going to inhale here. Exhale as we bring the fingertips up towards the ceiling. We're going to inhale as we continue to roll through. And then exhale, deep into the abdominals, come up and over the legs. And then stack the spine up tall. We're going to tuck the tailbone under and roll all the way down and exhale. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands up towards the ceiling. Inhale as you roll through the head, neck and shoulders. Exhale, deep into the tummy and curl up and over the legs. Stack that spine up tall. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Think about dropping your vertebrae one by one, lengthening through the spine. The slower you go, the harder you work. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, take the fingertips to the ceiling. Inhale, roll through the head and your shoulders. Hold on to that peach under your chin. Exhale, all the way up over the legs. Stacking the spine up tall. 
and then tuck the tailbone under and we're rolling down again. Keep a firm hold of those abdominals, rolling down slowly. Inhale overhead, exhale hands up to the ceiling, inhale and exhale deep into the tummy. You want your legs firmly onto the ground as you roll up, they shouldn't be lifting. And then tuck the tailbone down, same on the way down, keep those legs in contact with the mat and rolling down. We're going to do one more here. Inhale, exhale, arms up. Inhale, exhale. Keep the shoulders away from your ears and gently drawing down as we come up and over the legs. Stuck in the spine up tall. And then tuck the tailbone under and rolling down. Vertebrae, five vertebrae. Now we're going to take the hands behind the head. We're going to make that a little harder. So if you had enough um, trouble doing that one there, just keep up with that one. If you want to work a little bit harder, we're going to take the elbows in towards each other, hands behind the back of the head, and we're going to exhale, curling up. All the way up and over, facing the legs. Now here we lengthen the spine, open the elbows outwards, and then we tilt back as far as you can before you need to tuck the tailbone under, bring the elbows back in, and we're rolling all the way down with control. So we inhale at the bottom. Exhale, bring the elbows in and diving up, up and over, deep into the abdominals, all the way over the legs. Lengthen that spine out, tilting back, and then tuck the tailbone under and folding down nice and slow. We're going to do three more of those. So we inhale at the bottom. Exhale, elbows in, diving up and over. Lengthen out through the spine, tilting back. And then folding under again, rolling slowly down. We've got two more. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, elbows in. Diving forward. Remember, if you're having trouble with this when you go back to the hands out straight, it gives you a little bit more leverage to work with. And open through the front of the hips and the chest. Rolling down. Last one, here we go. Breath in. Exhale, elbows in. And dive the nose up and over towards the knees, lengthen through the spine, over to the front of the hips, and then rolling back down. Nicely done. We're going to keep the hands behind the head here. We're going to lift the legs up into tabletop, and we're going to go into our crisscross prep. So imagine that your torso, your ribs, and your hips are a piece of paper here, and you're folding corner to corner. So you're wrapping your ribs over to the opposite hip. So it's more about that rib and armpit reaching across than it is the elbow. And then back through the center and to the other side. As we cross over, we're exhaling. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna add the leg extension. So we're lengthening through the leg, switching through the center and lengthening and change and change. So use your breath here, it's going to help you with these movements. We're drawing that tummy in, scooping through the belly, trying to flatten out using transverse abdominals. Should be feeling nice and warm now guys. Exhale, inhale, and exhale to change. We've got one more to each side, and last one. And into the center and rolling down. Now we're going to extend one leg up towards the ceiling and we're going to extend the other leg long. Keep it just floating up off the floor. We're going to roll up through the head, neck and shoulders. Now if you're not quite flexible enough to hold the calf, you can hold the knee. Hold as high as you can so you get a nice stretch. We're going to keep the upper body stable, deepening into the tummy, keep the pelvis still as well, and then we're going to swap the legs. So we're switching. On an exhale. And sweeping the legs through the center. The body's staying still, the tummy's drawing in nice and strong, the pelvis is stable, and just those legs are long and sweeping through the air. Feel the length through the legs and the stretch through the hamstring, as if you were just kicking the legs through water. Like there's a tiny bit of resistance that's just letting you lengthen those legs. And we're doing one more to each leg. That's it. And then tuck. And little breather. 
Nice deep breath into the tummy. Okay, should be nice and warm now. Let's lengthen the body out long. I'm going to roll over. So we're going to do a little bit of swan, a little bit of swan dive. So we've got the hands by the chest and the feet just a little bit wider than the hips. Just press your pubic bone down to the mat a little to lengthen out that lower back and draw your belly away from the mat. So we're going to look forwards to the top of the mat and then keep stacking the spine, opening through the chest, press into the hands, keep the elbows drawing down from the shoulders, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the tummy over the chest and then rolling all the way back down. Now we're going to use an inhale up to open through the chest and then exhale down. Now there's a gentle pressure into the hands as you're coming up. Feel as if someone's got a string and they're pulling you, pulling your chest forwards from your sternum. And then aim the elbows behind you as you're rolling back down in the front of the body. We're going to do two more like that. Inhale as you come up. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Keep the glutes on and we're arcing through the body. Creating a beautiful banana shape from the tip of your head with your tailbone. And last one. Here we go. Inhaling up. And then exhaling down. Now we're going to hold the last one up here because we're going into swan dive. So from here we're going to inhale as we allow the body to fold forwards, squeeze the glutes and it'll lift the legs up behind you. So you lift the hands at the bottom, inhale, exhale as you push back up. So we inhale, exhale. So we're holding that beautiful curve to the spine and using the breath to help us here. So inhale forwards, exhale, push into the hands and lift up. Make sure you're keeping a strong connection through your tummy and through your glutes. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We've got two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And exhale. And then rolling all the way back down. Push your body back over your heels, stretching out through the spine. Nice big deep breath into the back of the ribs there. because we've got one more to finish, and I've left the rest to last. So we're going to finish with our teaser. So we've got two options here again. We're going to start with the legs in tabletop. If that's enough, you can stay there for the second stage as well. Otherwise, we're going to extend the legs. So we'll start with the legs in tabletop, hands by the sides, and then we're going to tuck the tailbone under, and we're going to roll down. Again, nice and slow, challenging the ribs and the abdominals. Exhale as we're curling up through the head, neck and shoulders. Keep on coming and the legs are in tabletop here. And then tuck the tailbone under and press the vertebrae down one at a time. We're coming back down to lane. Inhale at the bottom and then exhale up. Let's reach out a little bit but they're staying in tabletop. We're reaching for the toes and then tuck the tailbone under and we're rolling back down. Now we've got one more here, breath in at the bottom, and then exhale, reaching through the fingertips, chin to chest, curling up, deep into the abdominals, and up into our modified teaser, rolling back down. Now if that was enough for you, stick with that for the next three. For the rest of us, we're going to be extending the legs as we go up. So we exhale, start to reach the legs long, and up into teaser. Now tuck the tailbone under, and we're rolling down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, reach the legs long, up into teaser, chest up, and then tuck the tailbone under and we're rolling back down. We've only got one more to go, we're nearly there. Inhale, exhale, reach the legs long, deep into the tummy, up into teaser, and then rolling back down. Bring those knees into the chest and hug it in. Woo. Well done, guys. That was our level three core workout.